family in Jamaica nervously watching this storm. Aniela Ruiz spoke with a man who's been checking in on his loved ones daily. Aniela, you also spoke with the mayor of Montego Bay. Well, that's right, Lynn and Mia. The mayor says it's all hands on deck, trying to keep their residents and tourists safe. Yo! Jamaicans living in Houston are keeping tabs on their loved ones as Hurricane Barrel races towards Jamaica. My mom and my brother. Are you worried about I'm them? Friends, yeah. Tony Brown says he's checked on his family and they're all prepping for the big storm. He spoke to his nephew, Theo, over the phone, who lives near Kingston. Go ahead, Theo. Dark, right? He said most people taking the storm very serious. Supermarkets are sold out. In Montego Bay, the mayor tells us his crews have been working nonstop. We're also doing our part as the local authority. We're clearing the, the drain outlets, the gullies, preparing the shelters. A matter of fact, those have been prepared already, so we're sending supplies to the shelters. He tells me they've opened 58 shelters so far, making sure those whose homes can't withstand the storm have a place to go. I'm concerned, but I'm calm, and we have to be calm in a situation like this so we can provide the best response. As now, they all wait for the storm, but one thing is for certain. They're praying for the best outcome for their island. I trust in God, so I know she's okay. They will, she, they will be okay. Well, the mayor of Montego Bay also told us that they have about 150 tourists there in their area staying in local hotels. He did say they sent out warnings to them. He also mentioned that today was the last chance for people to fly out of Jamaica via American Airlines. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. We'll see the fallout tomorrow for residents and tourists. Anayeli, thanks for the update. And our